right? So this is tough. Fair points. Now it's game number two. Egypt has one point. And going back to the thought of Nice just pointed out, the damage needs to be present in Mongolia to fight up against Egypt as their composition will go. Look at that up top. We're seeing a lot of pokes there. We have, we're seeing two roams just meet on the mill. But Alpha got a good amount of damage there from Aizen and Forbid. Again, Alpha have an amazing game, the previous one, game one on the Barretts. Now he gets his hands on the Terizla against a player who is well known for his Terizla gameplays, especially on the road here to the WEC. Aizen, a favorite of that hero, will also most likely know how to play against it, right? To the to the best of his ability. So still, Yu Zhang, one of those heroes that has in a way, it's made strides throughout competitive MLBB, but it's fallen off to some other picks here lately. Still a great hero, though. Still great kit and option available. And well, as we see Mario rocking out the Quantum Charge here for its emblem, mostly we see use the focusing mark if you're a Kaja, but we don't hold that thought. Okay. Damage going through Egypt. Mario still safe, though. Oh, wow. He was just waiting for that level four, able to get the Desmond off. So. Morrow goes down early on. First blood taken by Mongolia. Yeah, we were talking about that. The Either the focusing mark or even the quantum charge right now differs a lot because right now in the minds of Marrow, you want the basic hits to even, re uh, again, regen a bit of a health for you. Looking at the lineup of the early game of Mongolia, you need to have that extra amount of H green bar HP just sliding up slowly as you get your hits. But now, the focusing mark being, uh, again, not present in Egypt, Give so much way for uh, for even Cesar or the Martin to keep on poking them and force them out of their comfort zone. Even their ultimates being used right away. Yeah, again, I think you know, in terms of emblems, right? The, the, so far, at least for this matchup, you don't see too much out of the ordinary. It's really just kind of who gets these numbers advantage when these fights happen. Aizen already using the Dragon Form to push Maro back. Maro does not have Divine Judgment. Ooh, this purple. is great though. Aizen able to purple. push ZM7 Zoda off the purple buff. Meanwhile, Forbid gonna be in trouble. Alpha able to pick up the kill. Turtle now gonna be worked on. ZX Aura gets it with the Retribution. Still gonna be working on. Numa Blast comes down. Ethan gonna be in trouble here. Another kill goes in the hands of ZX Aura. Still trying to help out Aizen. Nice little push off there. Trying to peel for the team. Not gonna be enough though as he falls. Yexora now will get away. Tied across the board, three for three. Yeah, this was the damage that we we're talking about. This is the damage that needs to be present in the side of uh, Mongolia. Utilizing that way of having a great amount of CC inside of Egypt. Yeah, stolen. Purple stolen by Huda. By Egypt. Okay. Again, we're at a point. And at least in this game number two, where it's a lot closer this early on. Yes, it's only three minutes in, but so far, both sides just kind of slugging it out, right? One thing that you really have to keep an eye on is, again, gold lane, the transition there to that mid to late game. Right now, with Bebex having that early kill, a little bit of a lead here, will kind of help out. We're already focusing on Ethan here. Trying to poke him down a little bit. Not really expecting a kill just yet, but will go on. For Bebex, gonna take quite a bit of damage himself. Will fall. Still, the clap back happens here. Pushing Morrow back. Ethan gonna get stunned. A couple more hits they're looking for. Double kill for Easy PD. Yeah. Now the response coming through from Mongolia. ZX Aura, not much can do as he gets stuck there with that bola. Again, Easy PD. I was just talking about this. Focusing on the gold lane. He grabs himself a double. Completely. Kuda and Marrow just wanted to have that edge and using that ultimate right into the turret of Mongolia. Little that they know, they haven't we haven't waited for Forbid to use that real manipulation and even the ultimate of Ethan. It was just a counter from the side of Egypt to use up against them. And by that, it was just easy, speedy, getting the advantage to get those two kills for him. So this is the coverage now because we're talking about the damage that needs to be present in Mongolia. They, they wait for someone or they, they force out someone from Egypt to make their magic work because right now forbid the Impure Age present, they have folks that, that it can be utilized across their way heading to the mid game. Trying to secure this next turtle of the game. Huda gonna be in trouble. Forced back by Aizen just doing his job here. Turtle secured for ZX Sora. Now under the turret, Aizen gonna take a couple turret shots. Should be fine as he makes his way back. Smile though, mid lane has to flicker out defensively. 
Yes, here's what's the, the, the problem that can brew for the side of uh, Egypt. The team fighting edge for this one needs to be uh, a bit of a way of penetrating the backline of Egypt. Knowing that Forbid has Ardomi and Peasant most of the time, they need to they kind of want to want to force out the ultimate out because there's a flicker and there's an ultimate. But by just checking on these items, this is a problem right now that they, they could actually be addressed. So they have the Ice Queen one, they have the Blade of Hepatitis for Brody. By just looking at the first item for Eve, it's an effect way of caging them in that chessboard. The one that they can utilize to, do, to get oh. items for Bebek. Divine Judgment gonna come through. Ethan easily picked off there. This is what I was talking about, right? Kaja locked in. That's what you expect. The Divine Judgment to find its targets, even if it's the Roamer, they'll go for it. If it's a secured kill, no objectives able to take for them just yet, though. Turtle still under a minute away here. Meanwhile, Ising might be in trouble. Alpha trying to focus him down. He's holding it on. Whoa, Couple he's hits away. The flicker is going to come through under the turret. turret. Alpha! Oh! You made a mistake. He falls under the turret. Wow. Up against Aizen, who also uses that Turizla. Oh, Bebex will fall as well. Solid choice here from Forbid. Setting up that real world manipulation. Two targets still for the taking. Flicker comes out easy. Will fall. Morrow can't. I don't think he's escaping this one, OSX. A couple oh, no. shots come through. There's the stun. Couple hits away. Four bit, one shot. Ooh, Won't slither. get him. A slither Morrow. of HP bar left. A great way to go back in the base and just that. Gold lead slowly going back for Mongolia. Now there's time to get in with the turrets. By just looking at this, we're looking at seven minute mark. And as we see the progress of Mongolia now, it's much better for game number one. I just can't believe Maro survived that. <laughs> it's like one hit away, you know? So, uh, again, objective across the board here. Secured up by Mongolia, three for three on the Turtles. Still relatively even though across the board, right? For the most part, you can see fight from both Maro. teams. Oh, Maro gonna be in trouble here. Getting a focus down, kill secured by Bebex. Now looking for one more well, smile. Two dragons. Takes the dragon as well, but can't fly away fast enough as he falls as well. Two members down here for Egypt. Yeah, we have now magic items being, well, gathered by Forbid. And this is the problem now that needs to be, well, focused on if this is Team Egypt. Look at the early game. It wasn't a great start for Mongolia, but now they're having more items for this Eve. A lot of things that can just be a rinse and repeat process by just taking on uh, the side of uh, Egypt. You have the Argo up now much more, uh, again, it has more sting, it has more damage, and Bebix right now with the quantum charge and getting all the items present. Look at that, even in the mid. Yeah, get in. Alpho. Alpho using the penalty zone defensively will get away. They pull him with the Divine Judgment. Zexora falls after taking the purple buff. So Huda does not have that, but they're able to get a kill here. A little overzealous from Mongolia, but still Egypt holding it as even as possible as they can before that first Lord comes up. Wow, they're just eyeing on on isolated members of Egypt. Just at this moment, in almost nine minutes, we have Ice Queen 1 and also the Glowing 1 present for this Eve. We have Scorch Power, we have Movement Speed that can easily be a reinforcement once they're happening, once Ethan gets in for a setup, because right now, it, with a score of 136, all they need is just a setup. With the Valentina present, Egypt can just completely smile to counter that objective. But most of the times, from the early game, we were talking about Mongolia forcing a lot of resources over and over again yep. to overcharge the composition of Egypt. That's what they gotta do. You know, if they can put pressure where they need to, whether that's the resources, whether that's in these side lanes, you saw them cutting some of the waves earlier on, that's the best thing they can do right now, especially with the lineup that they have. They should be able to win some of these objective-based fights, right? The the ultimates that they have available to them, whether that's Numenon Blast, whether that's the real-world manipulation from Forbid, they've got the tools. But again, they have to watch out for Morrow. They cannot lose a member this early on, especially now that this Lord is up. Well, speaking of another objective here that can be taken either from these two teams right here. So in to the coverage, Mongolia has an edge in waiting for the right time to strike. They have a set, they have a new and unblast, they have the new manipulation that can be uh, a greater uh, attack from side of Egypt. Now they're just waiting for them who makes the first step right into this Lord. But look at that, nobody's seeing. 
Nobody seeing this. Conceal has been activated. Conceal gonna be used. Mario looking for the target. Gets the Divine Judgment off. He gets Aizen. Terrified gonna come through. There's the Black Dragon form. Will push them back. Alpho a little bit in trouble. Had three members on him. Still gonna be focused on. Lord will reset. Alpho goes down by the Decimate. ZX Aura will pick up a kill. Numa Blast gonna charge up. Miss. Will miss. So Smile flickers as well, responds with his own, and they're still trying to follow up on this. Ethan could be in trouble, has to back off for the team. Ooh. Bebex with the wind of nature gets a kill on easy. Will be able to get away though, just in time. Zora one hit away, Woo. and he escapes as well. Three members. Could be a kill. No, uh, Smile is still looking for another way of getting another target from Mongolia, but that was still a safe passage for that team to go back in the base. How many, <laughs> how many moments in this game alone as someone got away with just a sliver of health? It's just one auto attack is all they needed, but all that again, the Lord still not claimed just yet as both teams get re-situated to fight for that Lord. It could have been a different scenario. Hudo was there, members of Egypt was there, but they, they wanted to have this discipline to not re-engage because most of the times they have, they're trying to feel the power spike now of, of Mongolia and they're respecting the fact that we need to have counters, we need to have the tools for this. So, so with this kind of a, a time that we're seeing on this game, it's 11 minutes, nobody's taking the first coverage here as they wanted to take on the first appearance of the Lord as it showed up early. Okay, Alpha. Trying to get some information here. Pushing them back. Bebex falls. Lord's going to go ahead and reset. A big play coming through from Egypt already. Able to get the gold. A marksman jumps in there. Alpha, though, Whoa. going in with a flicker. Penalty zone. We'll be able to hold on just a little bit longer. RWM going to come out as well. Eyes in there to back him up. Looking for the kill. Alpha falls. Still going to be looking for more. Ethan, a couple Ethan. hits away. Gets the flicker out. And still a bloodbath here for that first Lord of the game. Completely, that is still Egypt winning that fight. A kill onto Bebex, a three kills onto this Brody. You would want to have that damage, yes. We were looking at Mongolia rising up to the problems of early game. But in the stages of where you enter the late game from minute 15 or later, you need to have the damage from a Brody to even to happen. Because that's the one thing they needed to actually compensate the yep. damage they're building up with this. Remember, that's what we said in the draft, OSX, was with the Kaji, you always have to be worried about who is he going to grab. I mean, even looking at the items here, just all everything kind of falling into place, right? Relatively gold-wise, economy-wise, it's even, right? But it comes down to those micro decisions. And the fact that Egypt was able to find Bebex before that Lord take gets the kill. You lose so much firepower if you're Mongolia. Yeah, he opted for the Blade of Heptasis instead of going for, uh, uh, again, he, he went for the Blade of Heptasis instead of going for the Blade of Despair uh, from, from Brody. And this is one thing that he wanted to uh, have a uh, coverage on because at some points he could get pulled by Marrow and Conceal. We heard a Conceal here from, uh, yep. from Egypt. Marrow gonna go ahead and pulled. grab him. Get some of the Divine Judgment. They're gonna unleash, no, oh, the penalty zone comes through from Alpha. No follow-up just yet though, gonna hold them back. Easy, and a little bit of trouble, trying to fight off Aizen, the rest of the team gonna help him out here. Three versus one in the jungle. They finally take him down. The trade for one for one. Lord finally taken care of too, but they will lose that inhibitor turret in the bot side. Yeah, they're fe I am feeling the pull of Aizen, which is how he did. He wanted to pull uh, to Egypt out of the equation in, in their own uh, team, but he wanted to take out the damage dealer right in that fight. Because as of the moment that we're seeing, Bebix now has the Rose Gold Meteor instead of going for an additional damage item. He's securing his own way and again, being in those deeper team fights because they're lacking the damage. They need more protection this time to even cope up with a setup of Egypt doing over and over again. So 14 minutes in, we find ourselves relatively even in terms of economy gold. It just comes down to that execution factor. And what we're seeing both teams do is really lead up into that Lord. It's about less than a minute away. So expect another Conceal play to come through here, OSX, from Morrow. And it's going to be up to Mongolia to really play defensively against that. They have a lot of tools available to them. But man, right now, it seems like Egypt is controlling things a little bit better, at least picking the right fights, the right skirmishes, and trying to come out winning those. So again, as we lead up into that next Lord take, you're gonna see both teams kind of just 
stay together as much as possible, right? Looking for their own conceal entrance play. Yeah. And Forbid just got his uh, Enchanted Talisman just now, but prioritizing the uh, Ice Queen wand, and again, the Glowing Wand, is more likely to proc the Impure Age more in those kind of setups that, that can be effective for the side of Mongolia. So with this, more mana being present in the late stage of the game could actually be, a, again, a complete rinse and repeat, but much more faster for Mongolia. With this, they need to answer a lot of damage, but they need to pick who on the side of Egypt. Again. Seal play gonna be used here. Marl gonna flicker in, looking for anybody he can grab. Penalty zone to follow up. Ethan trying to flicker out, still gonna be able to survive. Alpho now in trouble here, caught in the RWM. He will fall, and here comes Aizen to cut them off. Has the Petri available? Does he use it? Finds a target, pushing Easy back. Easy HP's firing dropping. off from the back line. He can't be stopped. It's too easy for Easy Petey. And now they fall here in the jungle. Right in front of the Lord. Two down, plus the flicker from Bebex. This is tough. It's a two for two. That was a complete tug of war just right there. Being the, in the front line, Alpha was trying to force out a lot of resources from Mongolia. The discipline, and just by looking at this reef, look at that. Oh. The penalty zone on to Ethan. But one that they didn't see was Zorwas right in the back, and that pushed Egypt to actually retreat back because of the CC that Mongolia has and they, what they want to do is completely be in those team fights so that they can be that can be pulled back and forth and it's just that with the damage and CC they can bounce up against Mongolia it was oh. a complete win oh yeah okay an objective thing they got penalty zone right onto uh, yeah. Ethan Lord was taken here Ethan gonna go down just shortly Aizen there once again focusing on easy gonna take a couple shots has to back off here and still will be focused on Huda. Now looking for Forbid. Can't get the target he's looking for. Aizen might be next. Still going, and it looks like they're going to be just fine. Zexora trying to help him out. Couple shots away. Huda! Huda! Not able to get the kill. Smile will clean it up, though. And the Lord was taken by Egypt. Now marching on the bottom side here. It's looking dire for Mongolia. There's no way of defending this, but it can still be an answer. RWM will be the key here. Okay, ZXora trying to keep this game going. This Lord, though, still going to be working on the base, and it's Egypt that takes the series in a sweep. Team Egypt having a great start up against Mongolia, who remain undefeated in the group stages. Wow, look at that. In this kind of performance, heading through the playoff stage, this is a great way of pushing their own limits and also keys on getting the victory out of the challenges that they're heading throughout the playoffs. What an amazing performance, you know? And uh, 